Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Traffic Department 2192. Right, on to mission 12. Clipped wings. Commander Satares Office, Traffic Department Headquarters, two days later. Should probably shorten that a little bit. <clears throat> I just received a psych evaluation from personnel. It's disturbing, to say the least. Save it, Commander. I'm on patrol in 5 to 15 radiance. You're not going anywhere, Velasquez. I'm pulling you off the streets. The hell you are? Your lack of discipline is appalling. You're a mess, Velasquez. According to your psych evaluation, you're too unstable to pilot a spice transport, let alone an aunt's kid. But you must be... you must... And you're going to trust the stupid, full of shit computer psych evaluation? Well, I can't trust you, can I? You're deceitful, malicious, and ill-tempered. No one in the department trusts you. Hell, no one... none of the other officers even like you. I've seen Uthania and Sun Lizards with more friends. Sure, and most of them work in this department. Say what you like, Velasquez. From this point forward, until you are judged fit enough to resume your duties, your combat missions will be limited to those created in the simulation chambers. Anything else? Yes. You're dismissed, Velasquez. Operation Coordinator's Office later on. Velasquez! What are you doing here? Go back to bed, Emil. You never saw me here. I'm afraid I can't do that, Velasquez. I need to know what you're up to. Stairs pulled me from all active skid missions. I'm reassigning myself to helicopter surveillance. You can't access classified operations files. Yes, I can. You showed me Stairs decoding matrix, remember? And unless you want the tear to know that that small breach of security, I suggest you don't mention this to him. You're digging a big hole for yourself, Velasquez. If the commander finds out, I'll come right back here and beat the crap out of you. Stairs right. You really are screwed in the head. Don't make me prove it to you. TD helicopter hangar. 25 radians later. Velasquez, what do you think you're doing? My laundry, what the rocks does it look like I'm doing? You do not have authorization to pilot a Recon helicopter. Report to my office immediately. Grant me clearance to launch or I'll fly through the hangar restraints. Velasquez, I have two Hornets escorting a medical convoy to the Capillar Hospital facility outside of Vault Haven. The last thing they need is an unreliable chopper pilot buzzing over their heads. This sucker's loaded for bear, Commander. I'll take out those faults before they get within range of the convoy. Look, Velasquez, I'll clear you to save the hangar, but please be careful. Just because you're invincible hovering above the city doesn't mean that the convoy is. Watch where you shoot! Don't worry, Commander. Flying one of these things is easier than, the, than on the ground. No buildings to worry about. Now open the hangar. Well, technically that is true. I'll, uh, I've never find helicopters all that appealing to fly with. Alright, so... The main advantage the helicopter has is that it's... Uh, it's got more missiles. Which is both good and bad. I kinda wish they would actually show me where I'm going. Oh. Alright, the convoy is off the grid. Bring the helicopter back. that impressed with my performance here, but that's mostly because I don't like helicopters all that much. That 
mission incomplete. I thought as much. So, uh, yes, I'll restore the game. Alright, let's try it again. some of these trucks alive. Right, they're off the grid. I prefer to keep all of them alive, of course. But anyway, well, as I was saying, the helicopter's <laughs> main advantage of the helicopter is that it has lots of missiles. With quite a high firing rate. And of course, you're invulnerable. That's all the advantage it really has, because it's tricky to fly, and since I can't really line up along the side of the buildings, it's quite really difficult to hit anything. Alright. Successful! Yes, that's better. GD helicopter hangar after the mission. Advise well, free of charge. I certainly wouldn't pay for it. Before you steal another one of our helicopters, take a flying lesson first. You could be arrested for flying under influence. That medical convoy was important. Now it's mostly scant bits of metal and medicine. I swear I only blew up one by accident. And I'm not even entirely sure that was my fault. Say that to my face and I'll put fuels through a terranium wall. Don't get your roads in an uproar. I've got a missile with your name on it. I just hope you like long vacations, Vel. Looks like you might have a lot of free time on your hands, if Sitar doesn't lock you up as it is. The only thing that Sitar ever locks up is his, is his jaw. Here, the Solari Dune Sea is nice this time of year. Then go take a flying leap in it. I'm sure one of the janitors can cover for you, and probably do a better job. Operations coordinators of us later. Doesn't say how much later. Pity. There was nothing I could do. Velasquez used the test access code to secure a recon helicopter. Your security measures are disgraceful, Emil. I suppose I'll have to deal with Lieutenant Velasquez myself. Don't worry, Mr. Wollstonecraft. Commander's test stripped Velasquez of our security yeah, of a security clearance. She can't even use an elevator, let alone a hangar. How reassuring. Screwdriver's bar and officer's lounge. Later. Ooh, new location. New music. Yay! Would you like another cure? Your cheese on rice, Lieutenant. If I want one, I'll ask for it. Of course. Excuse my intrusion. Difficult day. Difficult day in the streets. I've been relieved of duty. Ah, Satya's so got your got you flying simulations. What of it? Nothing. Maybe you would like a Solarian sand ripper? Back off, bolt brain. I ought to put another dent in that wireless head of yours. The name's Screwdriver, not Bolter. Bolt brain. You got crossed wires? I said back off. Certainly. Want to know how I got the dent in my head? No. Your father gave it to me. My father? How did you know him? He liked Salarian sand rippers. 
Came here all the time. Never ordered just one. Always had to have three or four at once. And the tent? It was before the vulture incursion. Your father was off duty, having just finished his patrol. He drank six sand rippers back to back and picked a fight with another section officer. When I cut him off and asked him to leave, your father got mad and shot me with his projectile pistol. The bullet deflected off my helm plate. Sounds like something I would do. Ah, so there is some truth to genetic heredity. Was he suspended? Two weeks. Sent to the simulation room for two weeks. Your father hated it, but then he came uh, then came the vulture incursion, and he was back on patrol before you could say faulty wiring. They needed him. If you wait around long enough, Velasquez, they'll need you too. Not half bad, screwdriver. Not a bold brain, Velasquez. And I see that neither are you. Well, two weeks later. Command the Cetaire's office. I lost two officers in the class patrol. Relay station reports the fewer vultures on the streets. That's a good sign. No, it's not. They're probably up to something. I'm sure our contact in the vulture media net will keep us well informed. I'm thinking of putting Velasquez back out there. It's only been two weeks. She's in no condition to fly a skid. You said to yourself, you can't buckle on her now. Four officers have died since I pulled her off the line. More will die if you put her back out there. I'm running out of time, Ray. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of, running out of pilots. I'm running out of options. That night... What would happen that night? In the quarters of Lieutenant Velasquez. In a thin hum fills the air, and Velasquez feels herself vanishing. Colonel Wilson Cross Office, Vulture Command Institute, five radians later. No. He certainly didn't waste any time. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would never have believed it. Your abilities in the field of mind manipulation are truly amazing. You have surpassed my highest expectations with your latest, well, accomplishment. Congratulations to you both, gentlemen. Velasquez, you are mine. Ooh, that suddenly went a different direction, didn't it? What will happen next time, I wonder? Now that Velasquez has been made to change sides, I guess we will find out next time. Thank you for watching.